In the midst of the chaotic warfare of World War II, one woman emerged as an unlikely national heroine. At a time where women were misconstrued as solely the caretakers of their families, she prevailed and broke the gender barrier in scientific fields by pursuing a highly daunting task. She became embroiled in uncovering Nazi espionage schemes and was an imperative part of the victory over the Axis powers. Here is the untold story of Elizabeth Friedman, the first female cryptanalyst. Without this story being told, you know, a big piece of history is just missing. This is an amazing American story. This is a story of a, uh, a woman from a small town who had uh, very few advantages in life and, and yet overcame sexism in her time to, to become one of the greatest code breakers uh, ever in, in, in history. The woman who shattered codes and gender barriers. The history of cryptology trailblazer Elizabeth Friedman. Born in 1892 in rural Indiana, Elizabeth was energetic and strongly opinionated. She was named Elizabeth with an E due to her mother's disdain for the nickname Eliza. After graduating, she began her career in cryptography at the Newberry Research Library in Chicago. While working at Newberry in 1916, her life changed forever when she was recruited by a wealthy merchant, George Fabian, to work on his estate at Riverbank and use ciphers to analyze Shakespeare's sonnets. And she then worked for four years with a staff of professionals, including her future husband, William, at one of the first facilities to promote cryptology in the United States. She frequently experienced harassment by her male colleagues due to the lack of respect that men had for women in scientific fields. This gave her a different perspective about the workplace and she realized the significance of her work as one of the few women in code at the time. This motivated her to take on formidable challenges and demonstrate the analytical capabilities of women. In 1921, Mr. and Mrs. Friedman moved to Washington, D.C. to work for the War Department, subsequently sparking Elizabeth's monumental contributions to the world of cryptology. In this time period, only 0.6% of women worked in scientific fields. So Elizabeth's work proved that women were adept for these tasks. Elizabeth, as one of the only cryptology experts in the country, convinced Congress to create a cryptology division within the U.S. Coast Guard and began to head the department and train numerous officials utilizing different deciphering techniques. In addition to being the sole cryptanalysis department for several different government agencies, she deciphered Rum Runner's radio dispatches in order to provide the Coast Guard with the information to intercept and confiscate liquor being smuggled in territorial waters. Persistently, Friedman cracked over 12,000 encryptions, which were encoded in 50 different crypto systems. Her and her trainees incriminated smuggling groups such as those of Al Capone, Frank Costello, and William Dwyer. Many times had she been scrutinized as to how her authority as a woman was accepted. However, she was the guard's most potent weapon during prohibition. Although these endeavors were highly dangerous and convey Elizabeth's dedication as well as her tremendous skill, there were more exciting and stimulating tasks in store for her. Adolf Hitler's invasion of Poland in 1939 marked the beginnings of the deadliest conflict in history, World War II. During this time period, Elizabeth continued her work at the U.S. Coast Guard. She and her subordinates aided the government in securing the United States neutrality in the war. Their role was to use clandestine radio intelligence to manage communications concerning belligerent ships and to monitor these ships in order to detect the beginnings of American involvement in the war so they could inform the Treasury to freeze the nation's assets. This role was crucial and highly difficult, and Elizabeth's skill was paramount in ensuring the nation's safety during this time. Elizabeth's team then began to intercept intelligence from a much more sinister group, Nazi spies. South America was a neutral area of the world in this time period. However, it had become a prime spot for a large number of Nazi spies to base their operations in. In the beginning, Elizabeth's team forwarded the very useful intelligence that they intercepted to the FBI. In 1941, the FBI realized the value of the Coast Guard in the issue, and Elizabeth's team gained the responsibility to analyze Nazi messages and report discoveries directly to Army intelligence 
which made their role greater than that of the FBI. The fight against the Axis powers during the war gave Elizabeth the covert opportunity to save South America from fascist upheaval. The deciphering team of the Allies was against a system that was seemingly impossible to decode, the German Enigma machine. The solving of the Enigma machines laid in the hands of Elizabeth Friedman. Elizabeth was able to solve three levels of the Enigma devices, which made her a major contributor to the development of modern cryptology. Not only did this allow for over 40,000 secret messages to be deciphered, but it also led to the shutting down of a potential second Nazi front in South America. To proceed with the Nazi occupation of South America, one of the most dangerous spies of the war, Johannes Siegfried Becker, nicknamed Sargo, among others, sent a myriad of agents into Argentina, Bolivia, Chile, and Brazil, and tasked them with setting up radio transmitters to track U.S. movements and with fascist sympathizers who could influence the South American governments towards the Nazis. The Coast Guard began to detect an increased prominence of South America German radio transmissions and put Elizabeth on the task of breaking the code and producing translations. She was successfully able to understand the circuitry and algorithms, and therefore was able to read the Nazi transmissions. As a result, the Coast Guard was able to ultimately shut down every single Nazi spy ring in South America. Ultimately, due to the breaking of the Enigma machine by Elizabeth, the Allies won the war, leading to unprecedented economic prosperity and a step towards increased international involvement for the U.S. Elizabeth was also key in solving the Doll Woman case of 1944, where Velva Lee Dickinson, an antique doll dealer in New York City, was convicted of spying on behalf of the Japanese government. Her doll shop became a successful cover for her espionage, which involved encoded material about significant naval vessel movement in Pearl Harbor. However, they soon became her downfall when Elizabeth Friedman analyzed cryptographs and proved that the letters Dickinson had written described sinister Axis plans. This helped prevent the accumulation of information in the hands of the Japanese government, and it solidified the conviction of the doll woman. Despite the monumental work that Elizabeth Friedman completed during her time, including her contributions to the invention of modern cryptology and revealing opposing government's espionage, she was not recognized for her pivotal role in world history due to the fact that J. Edgar Hoover, the FBI director, launched a post-war publicity campaign that portrayed the FBI as the heroes, when the reality was that they could not have functioned without Freeman's work. However, in 2000, when the war files were released from secrecy, Hoover's wrongful claiming of Elizabeth's achievements were recognized. Now it is known to Americans that Elizabeth Friedman, a mother of two, a poet, a girl from a small Indiana town, and most importantly, a woman, was the world's heroine in the deadliest war in history. Being the first woman, so she was a very strong person. She just did not let people run roughshod over her. The idea that women could do this work was a real, you know, glass ceiling that she shattered the real genius um, at cryptology that she was. You know, she'd been the first major American woman codebreaker. She had been one of the great codebreakers of the 20th century. Her work had helped save lives, had helped America win. She had also contributed to the development of, of codebreaking as a science. That was part of her legacy, that by being a woman, uh, achieving in a technical field dominated by men, she had to some extent shown that it was possible to do the work, prove that she was not just every bit as good as men, but oftentimes much, much, much better. In a time period where women were ignored of their intellectual potential, Elizabeth was able to exceed societal expectations and fight through sexism to work in a man's world. In addition to shattering countless codes to solve the Enigma machines and catch Nazis, she shattered both gender and intellectual barriers by dominating a scientific field and developing modern cryptology. Elizabeth had many monumental achievements during her lifetime. In the words of the U.S. Congress, Elizabeth Friedman continues to be a beacon of inspiration for women in the national security community and women pursuing STEM-related fields. Her work distinctly shows how strong encryption technology can change the course of history, and her techniques are used even today for anti-terrorist operations and government intelligence.
she broke from the sexist shackles of society and emerged as an inspiration to women and the savior of America's freedom.